Welcome to our webcast mini-series, where we'll share helpful ways to increase your brain health throughout the month of January. My name is Heather Janes. And I'm Afton Kale. We're dementia care specialists from Jefferson and Walworth County. This week, we'll be discussing steps that you can take to get a good night's rest and reduce harmful stress in your everyday life. Many Americans do not get the recommended amount of sleep they need each night. A recent study indicates that more than 75% of adults struggle with getting a restful night's sleep. There are numerous negative health outcomes associated with not getting enough quality sleep each night, including fatigue, brain fog, stress, anxiety, difficulty concentrating, depression, and other mood disorders. Over time, poor sleep quality takes a considerable toll on the brain. Quality sleep is as essential to survival as food and water. Without sleep, you cannot form or maintain the pathways in your brain that let you learn and create new memories. And it's harder to concentrate and respond quickly. Tips for getting a good night's rest include sticking to a schedule, try waking up and going to bed at the same time every day, even on weekends. Sleep is a systematic process that our bodies regulate automatically. Make time to relax before bed and enjoy an activity such as taking a warm bath or reading a good book. Turn off the lights and power down the electronics. Darkness stimulates the body to release the natural sleep hormone melatonin, while sunlight suppresses it. Keeping your bedroom as dark as possible at night helps promote the production of melatonin and the onset of sleep. Exercise 20 to 30 minutes each day. Limit larger meals after 3 p.m. Eating a heavy meal or consuming caffeine before bed may cause heartburn and difficulty returning to sleep. Avoid alcohol as it disturbs the sleep cycle and is a frequent cause of premature awakening and difficulty returning to sleep. If you have daytime sleepiness and snore, be sure to speak with your doctor to address any treatable medical conditions. If your sleep problems persist, keep a sleep diary noting the types of problems you're experiencing and when they occur. It will serve as a useful tool when you talk with your doctor. Stress, similar to poor sleep quality, also affects the brain's ability to function at its highest potential. It alters our social interactions with others by preventing us from being fully present in the moment. Unmanageable stress leads to challenges in learning and difficulty recalling new information. Additionally, stress can contribute to unhealthy eating habits. Stress is a normal part of everyday life. Here are some tips for making stress more manageable. Try to identify your sources of stress. This will help you to cope with your stressors and manage them better over time. Getting a good night's sleep helps to reduce stress. Studies show that a lack of sleep hinders learning, impairs cognitive performance, and slows reaction time. Become organized by making a realistic to-do list and prioritize what you want to accomplish. Start with baby steps if this task feels overwhelming. Asking for help is a sign of strength. Reach out to nearby friends, family, neighbors, faith and civic communities, and local agencies such as your Aging and Disability Resource Center. Thank you for taking the time today to learn more about the importance of getting quality sleep and reducing your stress levels. Next week, we'll be looking at ways to develop cognitive reserve and the benefits of meaningful social interactions. If you have questions about the information in this video, please feel free to share in the comments below. Interested in learning more or have concerns about your brain health and or memory, please contact your local Aging and Disability Resource Center. To find your local ADRC, please call 608-266-1865 or visit www.dhs.wisconsin.gov. Thank you.